Welcome back. In the last session, we created the alert to trigger when there is a trigger failure. So let's try and break one of our pipelines, which is the ECDC and JEST pipeline so that we can see whether the trigger is firing. So let's get to our author tab and under ingest, we got the PL and JEST ECDC data. So as you can see here, this pipeline initially reads data from our config file and then processes the files accordingly. The config file tells us where to get the files from on the ECDC portal and where to put them. So if we make changes to the config file so that it is pointing to a new URL which is invalid, then we'll get a failure. So let's do that. So let's switch over to the Storage Explorer and under COVID Reporting SA, we got the configs container and that's where we got the config file. So this is the config file, ecdc file list.json, and let's open that up. And here, as we said, we got the source-based URL which is referring to ecdc underscore data folder. Let's change the spelling of ecdc underscore data to ecdc underscore data. So let me replace and let's do a replace all. So that's done and let me save this file and it should upload to the storage account as well so let's do that. And that's now been uploaded. Let's switch back to our data factory and then get to triggers. And we got the trigger runs and this is the TR and just ECDC data. If we click here in this, it's going to rerun the trigger so that's what we wanted to do. So we are going to rerun the trigger that ran at midnight this morning so that it fails after this, so I'm going to rerun that one. So click OK and let's see what happens. So I'm going to refresh and it should show us, OK, so that's waiting, so that's going to go through now. As we expected, the trigger has failed. So let's see where it's failed within the trigger. You've got two options, either you can click on number one here to get to the pipeline, or you can go straight to the pipeline runs. So I tend to normally do this way so that I know which trigger relates to which pipeline. So I'm going to click on number one, and that gives you the pipeline. So as we expected, so it's done the lookup. So it's got all the information from the lookup, and it's tried to copy the data from the portal, and it would have failed with the error that actually the portal URL is invalid. So the remote name could not be resolved, so that's what it's failed with. Okay, let's see whether we've received the email notification for that failure now. Okay, so we got this email here so that was triggered by the Azure Monitor and it tells you that actually it's the alert named AL Trigger Failure. It doesn't give you an awful lot more information. It tells you which trigger fired that. So that is, you've got the name of the trigger and then the failure type. So you won't know exactly what failure it is. For that you'll have to go into data factory to have a look at it, but otherwise you've got this information. So this kind of triggers the support team to come in and work on the failure. Let's now switch back to data factory and I'll show you the dashboard with the failures. So we should see some failures on the pipelines, activities, and triggers. So as we're seeing within the last 24 hours we've had one trigger failure and one pipeline failure and five failed runs on the activities because there were five different failures within the activity as well. So let's now look at resolving this issue. I said before you can look at the pipeline issue from the pipeline runs as well, so let's get there. And then if you click on that, you'll see the failures and we've had the four copy activities and the four each statement that call the copy activities have failed. So that's why you've got the five activity run failures. That's the end of this session. In the next session, we'll look at fixing the failure and rerunning the pipeline. I'll see you in the next session.